In this card.co tutorial, I will show you how to create a one-page website with multiple pages. The purpose of this video is to help you promote your brand, product, or services with card website. Let's get into the video. Alright, so this is the home page. When you first log in through Google, this is what you're gonna see. So it's always good to take a quick look at the home page. Of the platform that you want to use if this is your first time you have to sign up so to sign up click on this sign and click sign up all right so enter your name email password then confirm the password then click agree then click sign up so you need to verify your account you click on this and they will send you the email through the email address that you sign up with so click on this your account needs to be verified instructions have been sent to this email so i'll go to the email and just confirm it but i will not show you that that is simple to do all right all right so let's get started click on new site so these are the templates if you want a profile you click on this all right so it's going to show you the profile categories all right yeah a whole bunch i don't want to go through all of them and if you want landing page you click on this landing page templates are really simple if you want form you click on this all right even this you can use this for landing page i like this one but it's pro so you can use it you have a lot of options to choose from so don't worry and portfolio all right template section all right okay but because i want to create a simulated website i'll use section with multiple pages inside all right this i find this to be the best when it comes to that all right okay let's view the demo it's basically simple website so this is home so because it's simulated you can click on about I have a section there you can click on contact that's what card is good for all right so let's close it and go back select it and it's really really fast you click on ok alright so this is how the page looks like okay it looks really simple like I told you earlier on simple one page but with multiple pages and even you have your social media icons but we'll work on those later so this is like this is like alternative to link tree but it's better alright so to add another button you click the empty space beside home click on add button then label it add the url link all right so then you click done so now i have that link up here all right so first i'll edit the image then click upload see i'm gonna use this i'll keep it like this so when you are done with the setup then you click accept all right so this is it then you click done click on this all right so we're gonna call it next time all right these are special codes that you can use okay if you want italics so for instance if i want italics okay then it gives me italics i'll take them out all right so we're back to normal then i click done all right so click this all right then you click done all right so this is the section break so don't worry about it okay even when you publish it you're not gonna see it all right what it does is when you click on this after when you publish it okay and you click on this let's say one of the buttons that's how it's gonna scroll fast and go to the section that you clicked okay without showing the other sections okay the about so what we're gonna do you click it you change the test in here okay because this is lorem ipson okay that's a dummy test so you're gonna highlight everything then you copy and paste your word in there i'm not gonna bore you with all that so i'll just do that quick all right all right so click on contact you know what i don't need this so i'll delete it to delete come down here and you click delete all right and even the name i'm gonna delete it all right and 
the contact break section i'm gonna delete that one as well so click on it and delete all right all right so now i have to delete the contact navigator you just click on this which is gonna bring the navigation buttons then you search for contact which is this one and i'll delete it all right so that is done now i'll show you the page i was talking about just click on this and add all right so we're gonna label it i'll call it sites all right and i'll click done so now i'm gonna create that section click on this control all right so you have to choose the control type so click on the arrow so either you want a section break header footer or scroll i want just a section break okay so when people click on site it will go straight to the section that i want to create okay so let's scroll down so let's go down highlight sites okay because i want to name it same as this and you click done all right so you scroll down so i'm gonna move it under this okay because that is where i want it to be all right so now i'm gonna put the label under this section because when people click on sites it's gonna come straight down here but there wouldn't be any title and it's gonna look so dry all right so we're gonna click on plus then add test sites all right then you click done now we're gonna move it okay then we put it right under site okay so now you click on the plus sign click on container then you click on uh, columns then it gives you two columns then you click done so i'm gonna move it and i put it right under site i'll add two images so one and i'll add another one again i can click here again or i can just duplicate it okay then i'll add a video all right so close this so what you do you just see how this side is light if i get here it has to be dark when it's dark when the frame is dark then i can drop it so i take it then i drop it okay click and hold then drop it okay now i'm gonna put this under okay all right so this is what i want to achieve all right so and click upload click on rockstar load it oh. okay so make sure you work on it okay then you click accept okay then we're gonna work on this one too click on it and you do image okay then click accept all right then i click done so you see you can upload whatever image you want this is just a tutorial and click on this all right so instead of uploading we have to embed okay so click that so you paste the link then you click done so now you're not gonna see it but when it's published you can see it this section is mainly like link tree alternative so now i'm gonna link this right then you click done i'm gonna link this one to my website then you click done all right the social media click on it what you don't need you just have to take it out so this i don't need it git hub i don't know what the heck is that all right so let's say i'm gonna work on my twitter so you click on twitter then you click on it then forward slash your page name Close. then you click done all right so that's how you change everything color option okay so let's make it all right so you click done okay so let's check on mobile click on the mobile all right so this is how it's gonna look on mobile 
all right let's go back to desktop it's time to publish so to publish you click on this now it's gonna ask you your title okay so what is the title of your website so in my case is rockstar okay and description All right, so that's my description. So now we have to give uh, our sites a domain name, okay? But this will be a subdomain because we are using the free version, okay? So I'm gonna type in, I don't know why when you try to type, it just drop down. That's crazy. This doesn't make sense to me. So let's, let me try again. Blocks done okay let's see oh okay when it's jumping just ignore it it's gonna work by itself okay so it's available okay so blogstone.car.co okay then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna publish it all right so now we can view site so this is the site so because it's free it says paid with card so you click this so you have my about all right so if i click youtube it's gonna go but i don't want it to go so i'll stop it all right so now when i click on sites you see it won't work and i'll show you why so i'll click it you see it doesn't work so i'll show you why so we go back and i'll show you why so go back to the main dashboard okay then you click on sites okay then you scroll down okay you see this section you need to make it hashtag sites okay so sites so done then we have to save publish changes all right all right so now view site. all right so about we have the about so youtube so see we are on youtube now so i'm gonna go back and i'll click site there you go all right we are almost done so what you have to do let's close this to log out click on this dashboard log out click on log out so this is the end of the tutorial please like comment and subscribe 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 thanks so much for your time until next time take care bye bye